This is what the streets of Baghdad look like. Over 100 people have been killed and 4,000 were injured since the start of the protests on Tuesday. The Iraqi government is using every measure to prevent the protests from spreading, including special counter-terrorism units that have confronted protesters with live ammunition. On Saturday, internet service in most of the country was blocked for a few hours in an effort to prevent protesters from organizing more riots. The demonstration started when thousands took to the streets of Baghdad protesting unemployment, lack of governmental services, poverty and corruption with calls for the government to step down. Is he not the Prime Minister and Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces? Can he not order the arrest of these militants who are shooting at us? Different reports are speculating that Iran-related militias are also taking part in oppressing the protests. Iranian passports were found on so-called Iraqi security men who confronted demonstrators. I'm willing to go to any place and meet up with these protesters or send representatives with no armed forces. I'll go to them with no weapon, sit with them for hours and hear what they have to say. If this can calm the situation, I'll do so. Iraqi Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi vowed to implement reforms that would improve the economy of the war-torn country. For the time being, his declarations seem to have very little effect on the street. Different religious leaders in Iraq are now calling for a direct dialogue between the protesters and the government. But with no leadership or clear agenda, it's hard to believe such a dialogue can even happen anytime soon.